stages right now. Flounder Heights, Molly Resort. Fuck. <laughs> and if things go awry, potentially some salmons. If things go extra awry, I might switch to Monster Hunter. I will say I'm not a huge fan of it being mint chip. Like we had the sweets and then the chocolate and I, I think it was a little funny because people who don't follow Splatoon reacting to the direct being like, why is it not uh, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate? It's mint chip. Not knowing that, hey, there was already a chocolate themed Splatfest, so... Kinda... Eve soon, but... Minchip definitely one of my personal favorite ice creams, so I had to. I thought I angled that a bit better, but maybe not. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a... Oh, they went... I knew I hit something, but I didn't realize they were crab tanked. <laughs> or just crab tanked. This is not going well. Damn. Now, oh, of course, air sprays. Oh, air sprays, splooshes. Okay. Annoying weapons will be irritating. Man, okay, it's a little more 50 50. It's still been very annoying, and they can cover ground very quickly. I think they have a better push. my non long time stream stuff that I am doing with the Final Fantasies and I finished 16 and I won't spoil 16 it is definitely top 3 I want to say I think it's still gonna end up being my number 2 though it is behind FF10 and FF10 just has too much nostalgia and history being my first Final Fantasy to really be noticed out of that spot easily But, 16, 
absolutely made me want to play the older ones a lot more. So, FF7, I've gone back. I restarted from my last mid ending, ending of Midgar, or because I hadn't recruited Yuffie and I had already left where I was supposed to be able to recruit her, which I'm glad I did because I have no fucking clue if I would have ever stumbled into it because it took me forever to get her to spawn on in the forest and that was even I am bullshitting it to a lot of degrees I'm like I'm getting the story experience but I am definitely taking the easy road with having it the modern conveniences of speed up I found that there is an auto heal <laughs> auto heal auto limit uh click in on the Switch version for these modern ones too that's just like, okay, I almost don't even need to play the game. That was going well, though. <laughs> okay. I got a little focused in on. Yeah. I don't know if there's echo coming through, but I know my audio changes for, like, the AC and stuff made it, so... I could keep the game louder, so I'm definitely keeping it a little louder than I would have in the past, which is helpful for me! Because there are some audio cues for shit that are kind of important. Damn, that did not go where I wanted it to. Them having the revival thing definitely helps come back faster. Oh, that hit bad. Still not a bad fight, though. <sighs> Which I also feel like I need to do a remake playthrough as soon as I finish this one. Because my idea is I'm prepping for Rebirth, because I want to see as much as possible of, um, basically everything. I want to see everything that these games have of the original to see what can be changed. I will say, I think I've pointed, like, the thing I hate the most about Seven, and I'm going to say it's the Gulp Saucer. And it's not even necessarily going to Gulp Saucer. I think it's a good spectacle. I think it's a good event. I think it's going to be a fun area to explore in a different version of the game. But oh my god, I hate it. Mainly because you can't do anything without GP. And the mini games for that shit is so dumb. I hate it. Like I don't like. 
those games and then having and I'm so, like the I'm using a guide also to make sure I don't miss shit since I already did nearly miss Yuffie if I continue my original file. So picked up a guide to make sure I didn't do that and it said you're gonna be coming back here a lot more so at a certain point so go ahead and get the season pass and I'm just like or the lifetime pass and it's like I hope not shit I'm dead <laughs> those fucking like spawn point things need to go Strawberry is raw. This is the first time I've seen it too. Very nice. Things are going well. Also going well, there's been not any really mirror matches yet. I feel like I just changed it, but fuck it. So far been a decent number of vanilla. One strawberry, I'll take it. If think of where I'm at in seven so yeah I'm annoyed with gold saucer mainly because of the GP payment thing so if anything I hope the mini games are better if it still includes that or you can just use kit just let it peek you just make my life easy
Ja, mä näin. Stay in the rain. <laughs> Yeah, I think the not using Eric has colored my experience, and I think some things are a little weird, and I don't know... I have noticed from the guide there's, like, interactions, and it's, like, Kingsus has the, like, fortune tell that Aerith and Cloud are, like, a perfect match, and it's like, that's weird, because I also went on the gold saucer date with Tifa. And I'm just like, I'm not sure if that's stagnant or that changes or if even Kate sits fortune telling is colored over by the fact of Cloud's like thing with Zack. And maybe that's getting muffled or if it's just bullshit and he's seeing he's fortune telling the death and just telling Aerith potentially what she might want to hear. But even that moment seems weird of just like, why is that what you would care about in that moment of Kate says about the sacrifice? Sacrifice in like heavy ass quotation marks because I really feel like that moment is played up. Despite the fact that Kate sits a fucking stuffed animal for being remote controlled, why is it given this reverence? It's not a real, like, death, death. Like, it's treated as a sacrifice without real sacrifice, which just seemed weird to me, but. God, I got the freaking rain off. Right before dying. That was a goal. Not the only one with rain. 
Uy. How'd we do? Hmm? Hmm? Sweet. Okay, I'm good with keeping this for now. I'm wanting to get the blobber to five star. So that's kind of my purpose for continuing to use it. And it's the one I'm furthest along to five star, so I'm hoping that I can finally reach it one day. Might still be time to switch. Okay, maybe that last push did it. Cause we're doing, we're pressing. Oh, yep. Maybe. Yes. Ooh. Okay. No more spills. Not spilling again. My next game plan. So I'm finishing up FF7, and I honestly can't tell if there's much left to do. Just cause... Things seem to be moving very quickly. I 
like I even mentioned with doing the three times speed up and even the heal thing, especially for grinding. Grinding is no, grinding is fucking cakewalk. But like things like that are not an issue that I can really get through the game faster. Which is very helpful, and I hope it's a thing kind of for some of the other ones, because I like long games. Long games are nice in some contexts, but I also have so many games to fucking play in my backlog that I'm also kind of want to be able to be done with them faster. It's not even because they're bad, it's just, um, there's no time! <laughs> there's not enough time in the world for all the games I have! And all the games coming out, it's just too much! Granted, I'm luckily to be, I consider myself to be in like a minor drought. The next game I plan on getting, I think, is... I think Armored comes out before. Yeah, Armored Core 6 is gonna come out before the... Like a Dragon Gaiden game, so... one of those two um there's pokemon dlc and which i think one of them's coming out around end of the year but it's armacore that yakuza gaiden oh i got a fist bump fuck yeah <laughs> 